Hello, I'm Douglas Johnston, uh, the director uh, of the Center for Real Estate. Uh, uh, in B uh, we practice faith-based diplomacy in different parts of the world. Uh, it is uh, generally political military. And before I came here, executive chief operating officer of the for Strategic and International Studies here in Washington. I think that uh, we need a much more enlightened understanding of exactly the currents of concern, the nuances underlying this conflict. Uh, I think that there are elements in Islam days that are describing to a very extremist situation of uh, uh, are um, acting accordingly and really abusing and using uh, scripture. One of the things that we should encourage uh, as strongly is to is to support mainstream Islam, which uh, uh, ibes to tenets uh, that all world religions share: neighborly concern and the betterment of humanity. You no. Know? And I'll share with you uh, an answer. You know, bombs and bullets, going to, you need to get at the ideas behind the guns. Guns. And then, is that one of the projects the center has been enhancing the madrasas in Pakistan, you know? Uh, expanding curriculums to and social and human rights, particularly women's rights, and religion, and, and, uh, transform the pedagogy to create critical thinking skills among well, cops. What it was in the news, you know, the Taliban had taken over and losing their head, and we had a workshop for being madrasa the Swat Valley, and toward the end, uh, one woman stood up here who was a commander in Lashkari Taiba, and uh, you know, I came for one reason and one reason only, that's to discourage you have to, and now finally you're full of rage. Rage, for 26 years I have been studying and teaching the Quran was taught to uh, after this experience, first time in the world of the Holy Quran and its peaceful intent, stand now to advance through peace, through conflict. Change to teach my students, and I'm going to tell them why. Uh, back a month later, and sure enough, he was doing exactly as he had said. Uh, but we also had a team. Wanting to in our work for years, and, we, and he says, "For God in the world, to hear. is this? You know, if you can way air of hot and rage and engage these folks, understand what you're doing. any of the of a more approach and uh, no risk." To so I, it's the whole idea of the, the, the key to terror it's not a of bullets and bullets. It's a matter of, you know, ideas. The United States role in this, it's perceived in occupying like Iraq Pakistan. And when you read uh, article, Search that's been conducted by people suicide like you find that more often than not it traces to uh, uh, the, uh, the, the the pain of being perceived as being foreign for states has to frankly uh, in the long run uh, we need to change our paradigm we need to, uh, just what I uh, servant leadership at the end, where we example, then 
uh, I do believe that uh, the context, religious all else, the best good theology. Yeah. Need to go back to your school. And has wonderful standards that uh, which you just articulated a little bit ago. Uh, and, and Osama bin uses this little play the info wherever you find it. Put it back in context and read the next verse much the opposite. Unless they peace and you're allowed to do play the infidels wherever you find it. And as to the under uh, okay, then Depends on what you emphasize, it, and what you emphasize causes you to overlook, you know, a deeper truth that uh, means, you know, you can look at the holy text of any religion, and you can play, you can by militant behavior, optimism, fact, and scheme of things, and there are far more of so just the direction. Uh, very people are taking away. So, so we just have to be much more thoughtful. Uh, I think religious leaders have to be important to, and we need to call our own religions back to their basic tenets of peacemaking. They better one's relationship with one's creator. You know, that's where our accountability is. Our center practices. We try to we try to move the count difficult situations from an ideal political uh, movement. Oh, got himself, and, and when people they're on better behavior, tend to be some good success with that. And we're uh, you know we're involved in the Middle East, and uh, we've been uh, say involved in. Pakistan and Afghanistan, Iran, uh, all over the place, and and the common denominator we have is that we seize upon shared bridges between adversaries. Abraham are very um, about what should be done, uh, but when you get beyond those to Hinduism and Buddhism, for example, in Kashmir, we were six years and we established a very spirit between Hindus and Muslims. Uh, this in Kashmir, generation leadership, you know, uh, so from within. It's uh, uh, right here. You know, we find it the Christian and the, and the Jewish and the, um, that juxtaposition. Uh, we have reason in the in the world to cooperate, yeah. and 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 we're doing just. Uh, I also, uh, in addition, we need to also be very uh, understanding of cultural influence. Well, I'm just totally uh, blown away by some of the um, risks that people take to extend hospitality. You know, I wish we in this country uh, had that imbued deeply as in Afghanistan or Pakistan. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, to have a union, it's uh, a basic um, uh, commonality of standing and commitment. And NATO had that pretty much. It was uh, the Cold War, of course, to resist. And the first to think that Turkey is absolutely critical to Turkey is probably uh, ge ge it may be the most strategic state in the entire region. You know, uh, I'm, I'm quite so. So we're working in the, uh, hopefully in the right direction. If uh, Allah is uh, blesses what, inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. inshallah. and then uh, important.